Knock, knock. Oh, well, come on in. <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. I have got the ultimate uh, home security system in Minecraft. So here's a quick rundown of how this goes. Oh, when did that come back up? I'm opening the chest. Uh... <laughs> okay, that's a uh, well. unintended consequence, but we'll get to that. We'll, we'll fix that. We're still in the testing stages on this. Uh, let me explain how this works. See this pressure plate right here? All right. See those dispensers on the wall? Well, you can't see them as well because they're covered in vines. But uh, let me give you a preview. Uh, this one. Mm -hmm. All right. So as some poor sap comes walking into your house. Or trying to exit up. the house. Now, now I made it so I didn't go down this time. But uh, the... Why... Cause you have to die. Ah, damn it! <laughs> All right. So here's the thing. Uh. All right. Oh we God, built how this. How much do we have down here? A lot. We keep dying. <laughs> we keep testing this. All right. So here's how it works. We have the dispensers on the wall. Actually, I'm gonna go in. Well, nah, screw that. You're gonna go in through the ceiling or just open the door? I'm just gonna open the door. Alright. I'm not gonna be in whatever mode anymore. Okay. Dispensers. Shoot arrows, which knock you down into the hole. When you step on this pressure plate, in case you're running into the house, this those will stop you. The arrows then, will still fling you into the hole. Yeah, which the arrows will then give you a chance to fling into the wall, and bam! You get thrown into the pit. Now, what we have going on after that is water. So you'll land in water. I don't want the fall to kill you because that would be no fun. Why would that be no fun? Because you're going to get buried alive. Uh, what we have here are pistons in our makeshift chimney, which pushes the gravel uh, on top of, of your head. Down. So we'll, we'll give you one more demonstration of how that all goes. Well, actually, here, I can just show you. Arrows, the blockade, delay, buried alive. And then the way that it's designed is once you're off the thing, the pistons will actually reset and fill more gravel in, so it's ready for the next poor fool that walks in the door. Yeah, it kills about six people, then you have to refill it. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's really the, pretty ingenious. The, the, the water at the bottom is all there, just so you can't jump fast enough to save yourself from suffocating in the gravel. Uh, what am I doing we, here? We, we tested this thoroughly. Oh, we, we've just spent the last couple hours on this particular trap. And, uh, yeah, and then just restocking it is fun. Now, you can get creative, too. You could use sand. You could use gravel. Uh, you could even drop zombies on people into the pit. Uh, I don't suggest dropping creepers because you don't want to have to rebuild your trap every day. However, dropping no. creepers is pretty damn fun. So. Yes. Oh, and, um, yeah. So let's... I'm not going in the front door. <laughs> so, blockade, knocks you into the thing, and buried alive. It's actually pretty cool. I think we can show you some of the mechanics without show you busting all the mechanics. But, I mean, this is pretty basic and pretty simple. Um, you know, just a little bit of redstone. And it's all, you know, there you go. Underneath the thing, repeater just to get at the distance. And there you have it. And that'll trigger those. Now, something else we had going, we actually had a full wall of these things, so you can still see some of our old uh, work behind here. But we've since moved the things forward to make sure that you actually get knocked down the pit. Yeah, you get a more of a punt when you get up close, but yeah. Yeah, but we had to put them far enough back that if somebody was looking through the door and checking their corners, that they didn't exactly see what was going on there. Because if it was too close, they're going to be like, wait a minute. All right, underneath here, this is where things got a little tricky because we wanted to make sure that when you stepped on that pressure plate... It brought uh, up the wall of block. Yeah, it brought up the blockade. 
So we didn't originally anticipate on a blockade. We had this whole thing set and we thought we were done. And then we're like, wait a minute. If you're sprinting into the house, you're going to just completely bypass the trap. Well, we don't want that. We want everybody to die. So there's that. All right. So then uh, let's see if I can get out of here. I'm stuck. You got to come to the Yeah, I guess. So then, oh, that's one thing that was really important. Because of the delay that we needed to make sure that the person went down the pit before they got dumped uh, in gravel, we had to actually put a whole bunch of repeaters. There's a lot of repeaters. Uh, and each one at maximum settings. So we've got about a good, what, four second delay, do you think? It, uh, it's 0.4 for each one, so... No, yeah, it's a good delay. Down here. It's extremely important. That's part of what makes the whole thing work, is you need the repeaters because you need that delay. So what we've got is, you know, the, the pistons at the, the base level. The blocks come up on top of them. Well, not on top, but in line with them. And then we run all the circuitry it's, through it's, the top. It's a good three-second delay. You know, so that's the same thing here. And then, you know, from the outside, you kind of saw when I was restocking the chimney. You know what? I am not going out the front door again. Yeah, somebody made this a little too complex. <laughs> uh, but then our chimney, as you can see, is nothing more than a conduit for more gravel. So, oops, wrong block. Yeah, I did that once or twice. So that way, as you're looking at the house over here, you're going, hey, wait a minute. That doesn't look too uh, out of place, right? This looks normal. Ah, la, la. Hey, hello. Oh, look, you have chests. I'm going to steal your shit. Oh, my God. And there you go. So, oh. how to keep people out of... Oh, I am actually trapped in here. Uh, I may have broken some walls. I'm going to have to sort that out. Yeah, I did. Creative mode is bad. This only really works if you uh, are not in creative mode on your server. So... <laughs> did you break? I, I'm fixing it. I just hit a lot of walls coming out because I was all excited. Like, yay, I'm going to make it. But that's uh, that's the general gist of it. Uh, we've kind of created the uh, home security system, or as I like to call it, the anti cramic device. Or as I like to call it, the um, he's never going to remember it's there and kill himself more than me. Yeah, good chance. He's probably right. Probably right. He couldn't find the shaft out of the back of the house. No, 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 no. No, I couldn't find it from up top. That's, ex you know, look, here. You're over here, and I'm like, ah, where the hell is it? Okay, the house is right here. Uh, where, where, where? Oh, yeah, it's in this little area right here. It's kind of hard to see when you're just zipping by. Ah, excuses, excuses. Oh, and by the way, this is the, uh, what version number is this? You gotta tell me. 13W19A. That one. Uh, something new was added in this version. Colored clay blocks. These are pretty cool. Uh, that's why our house is all nice and colorful. Check that out. Uh, so there's all different varieties of them now. I mean, this, this whole section right here is all new stuff. Uh, hopefully that makes it to the live versions that everybody's playing pretty quick because that offers all kinds of options and cool things and ways to decorate now. Giant clay Tetris Game Boy. So if lightning hits it, it doesn't go um, up in flames. Yeah. Oh, hey Jerry, how you doing? Oh. Who's your friend? Did he just duplicate or were they two on top of each other? So no, he exactly just duplicated. I was watching that, I'm like, one zombie? Wait, what? I should just spawn myself a sword, but that's just too much work. All right, so that's it, guys. We just wanted to show you this cool trap that we've made. Um, if you want to know more, be sure to let us know in the comments. We'll try and explain things. Uh, if you want to see us come up with something new or want us to keep doing Minecraft videos, be sure to let us know in the comments, like the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Just trying to get you still. Got him.